Well, Mormon died. But I figure I want to maybe jump back in and maybe we'll try another YouTube personality guy or guy who's like, you know, watched my channel. We're gonna play this time with Manigamar, who is essentially the owner of the YouTube channel Totally Legit Gaming. And one I'll pair of up, up with him this time around. So I'll go with him. And we'll see how this goes. So Managamar hears rumors that Canada is a safe place to free of the fresh zombies. With nothing to gain from going around Florida, he decides to brave the tough road and travel north. The pistols and Uzi have advantage of bullets being the most common ammo type. Well that's good to know. Hit the road. So, Managamar is essentially, um, I believe, an investigator in um, the Scandinavian countries. And he also works on cars. So I may have a gun engineer for, you know, his like, you know, background. Alright, let's see here. To start the journey, blah blah, let's go to this rest stop. If you find a rest stop along the road, it looks very quiet from the outside. We'll see what's here. So he starts off with crowbar because he's a gun engineer. And of course I'm still like the guy with blood pipes, so that's fine. Let's do this. Those guys. Everything in here, I wonder. Hey, cool food in there. Hey, it looked like there's gas in that toilet over there. There we go, gas in the toilet. So we'll see how this run goes, hopefully it'll get somewhere. Ah, oh, bolt to the toilet. Who knew? K11 being called. Alright. Nothing important, but whatever. Let's just continue on. I think what we're gonna do here, but we're gonna switch over to myself here, because I, you know, tired him out a little bit. Pick this up. He only likes that cricket back a little bit better than what he's currently got. That guy. And there goes that little swipe of attack. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Because I'm a tired little fellow. I would swing something I had no control over early on, but whatever. There's a lot of damage when I hit stuff. Boink, boink, boink. That went out pretty well. I assume there's nothing around the building itself, so... Quick little run around for no reason. And off we go. That was a good run. We got a little bit of food, we got a little bit of gas, ammo, all good stuff. Bandit watch, it's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be aw uh, awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up and watch? 
Well, I guess I'll do that. Even if he stands guard for a night, he falls asleep most almost instantly. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. Well, uh, apparently I have very poor, lo poor loyalty and um, I fall asleep instantly. Great. At least we didn't have too much stuff to get robbed of. <laughs> Afternoon raid. The group spots the infested city from the road. Scouting it from fire, the group has to decide where it's about to fight on a noon sun for supplies. Oh, am I going to a gun shop? So let's do that. And uh, we'll drop off a little bit of stuff here. Weapons, because weapons are cool. Alright, well. So, look at Managanir. He's got, you know, very good composure because I basically gave him calm on the fire, which basically helps improve his, like, um, ability to use a gun. Plus, he's a good engineer, so he actually has a little bit of shooting skills to start off with. Though shooting starts out terrible, but whatever. Me, I believe it's a mega buff as always, and I hope to see real life moves. Not really, those things are terrible. Off we go. Ooh. Yoink. I do believe that's been destroyed. Oh, that guy runs attention. Apparently I'm using a bone for my character. That's fine. Where's some ammo? I are used bones. There's bones to make good weapons. Up this way. That looks like a place to explore. Food. Nothing in the bathroom. Whoopsie, I did that wrong. Came a few times to the bone, that'll be fun. Because that's what people's humors are for, hitting people with. Ooh, I'll find lots of weapons. More food in a bookcase. Medical supplies, I'll take those. All right, nothing else in here. Bye bye. Up in here. Ah, oh, good to stuff in here. A little bit of food, a little bit of shotgun ammo. Looks like there's much left to basically loot around, so I guess let's get going. <clears throat> well, some food and medical supplies picked up, as well as lots of ammo. Do -do -do -do. What's all the zombie stuff?
While scavenging, the group finds a man covered in cardboard boxes. He says he's been stuck um, there for days. He has a fire axe lying on the ground outside of his reach. Alright, let's see here. Let's try and help the guy up, I guess. We'll help him up with man mana. Uh, man we are steals to help this man's fire axe. He feels pretty smug about this. Uh, I didn't actually mean to steal the guy's axe, but whatever. I now got a fire axe. What we need is a lot of chainsaws. Well, chainsaws are useful. Quick stop. After a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. The night passes with no incidents. The group eats a decent meal. Good. We ate meat. Or we ate food. Free healthcare in Obama's America. Deer crossing. A deer is stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Man shoots it. Man takes a shot at the deer from one of the car windows. He makes a shot, banging the deal while also going against the any sense of hunter ethics. Ah, oh, good. Sh shooting went up. The group doesn't know much about preserving game, but they clumsily cook some meat to pack in the car. Excellent. We got meat. That'll keep us going for a while. Outside of Canada, most of society's civilization has been destroyed. You can still find traders, blah blah. Let's go here. Gas to sex conversion. Alright, so we can get some gas if we want to. Or get some food for gas. No thanks. There's a talking dog there. I was gonna steal your food from your fridge. Does that make sense? Seriously, this grenade? I'll pick up the grenade. Your buzzer dumpster. It's locked tight with a slot in the side. There are weapon names and prices scrawled near the hole. Just drop the food in here, says the team voice in the dumpster. You have 21 food left. I will not get an Uzi for uh, food, but let's see what the other traders have first. You find the dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. The dog speaks. Welcome to Ammo Emporium. Everything must go. It offers five bullets, four rifle ammo, and three shotgun shells for her food item. Well, that'd be a good way to stock up on ammo. Man selling ammo and some uh, and ammo accessories from the converted food truck. I could get a Windstar, I could get a Katana's, ammo for green. You know, let's see what the Windstar is all about. The group buys a giant throwing star. This is the official Windstar used in the live action version of the Windstar anime. Excellent choice. Let's see what that does for me. Well, whatever. You can slow zombies down by dropping furniture in front of them. Or on them. Either or. The dink door. Door of the dinks. The group comes across the house by a do road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door down, the voice calls out, Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks! Man here, I'm not dink, or try to recruit. Uh, I'm not dink. You are especially a huge dink, you dink. Manager is inferior and splashes on a door for a while. The group ends up leaving shortly after. Well, that apparently hurts composure, but it did help uh, reveal his attitude, I guess, so um, his attitude is decreased. Maybe we should slow down a little. River Sludge. This city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that have been touched by a previous fire. The group gets surrounded and their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Well, this will be fun. Hey, there's a fire axe. We'll take this on our, our journey, I guess. And we'll see how it goes. Uh oh. Please. I probably should have sat there. Alright, I need to give him a weapon, so... Take this bat, because you're, um, weaponless.
Ah, oh, we are getting beat up in here. Yo, know, this fire axe isn't as good as I figured it'd be. Unfortunately. And we just got trapped. Alright, hits multiple people, that's good. Onward! Uh, let's go this way. Oh, baseball thought broke again. Oh, to self, they don't have a whole lot of durability. Hey, ammo! Oh crap. I need to give him a weapon. Well, we got out there, but it's not looking that great out here either. Oh, well, we're not dead yet. That's a plus. Hey, the exit! How we go? We got horribly injured, but we managed to survive. I get ammo. Ammo's good too. Well, I got no uh, medical help. Alright, well let's see here. I would like to uh, increase our um, health, but we don't have that option, so let's just go with medical. When it comes to zombie first aid, practice makes perfect. So, man has apparently got terrible medical, I got terrible medical, and now we got better medical. No one ever listens to me. Missile camping. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible at night. Our morale went down. Hey, apparently I like the weather. I will like miserable weather. It's very nice. Whoa, it's flat! It's nice to see a familiar place. He's kicking a car in frustration. The car is making plumes of smoke. Alright, well, let's take uh, Splat along. Group set Splat into a team. So he's got good... Good wets, good attitude, good composure, good loyalty, decent mechanical, good, decent medical. Excellent! He's got all the good stuff. But he's probably got very, very poor um, morale. Splat tried to help, but couldn't. And we're out of gas. It was a road trip. Reluctant bands. Without a car, the group is sitting duck for bands. The group is ambushed by awkward bands that apologize for the robbery. They're likely new to this. They demand all your extra gas and half your ammo and medical supplies. Um. Splat reasons with them. Splat confused with bands not to go through with the attack. They didn't want to anyway. Splat wants to help them, but can't spare much. Armor out is decreased. Awesome. So Splat has no morale, but decent skills, and the other guys that are, you know, almost dead. The water suddenly turns bad, the group is caught in the open, and must keep moving. They are forced to stumble around in smooth conditions, having an umbrella helps, but only a little. Hooray! I had an umbrella, because, you know, we loot an umbrella. And apparently you can't go Lord and not morale there, so Splat is basically miserable. Uh, after hours of hiking, a group finds a car sitting along the country road. It's in great shape, but the keys are missing. The cabin is visible, um, visible to the north. Alright, well, we're after to do this, I guess. Um, until these guys can get, you know, healed up, I think we're just going to rest them. And Splat will do all the job. We'll take the wind shirt, kid. We'll take this. 
I'll take a crowbar. Let's have some fun. Wow! That's how the chicken works. So, let's sell. Shuriken's awesome. Sort of. Not worth the food, I don't think, but whatever. Well, there we go. So it takes some throwing to basically throw this around, I guess. This has high knockback. That's cool. If only uh, the spot was stronger. working out well. Let's be a couple guys up in the crowbar here. Okay, just gonna keep spying his arms, so maybe we'll run into the house and have a look around. Wait for guys to come out. The rest of the guys are coming out now. Boink. Well, there's the car keys. Pick up some stuff, junk. Well, that worked out well. There's the gun. I was gonna wait a little bit before my, uh, you know, stamina comes back a little bit here. There's stuff in the bathroom, so we're done. Splat saves the day. Get in the car and let's go. Alright, well, we got some food, we got some gas, we got some ammo, all good stuff. Splat demands that either Magma leaves or Splat does. Well, that's unfortunate. Splat gets kicked out. Splat gets kicked out of the group instead of Magar. Magar smiles a little. Sorry, Splat, but it's not uh, your show. Silent Guardian. A man is in a makeshift arm made from athletic gear is staying guard in the middle of the narrow wooden bridge on the road. He's wearing boxing gloves, staring forward at the car as he blocks the way past. Um, push him off the bridge. The group gets out of the car and tries to push the bridge guard off the bridge. It's no use. The armored man just socks the group with his boxing gloves. Alright, well, apparently we don't have um, very good strength. Our fitness is uh, sucky. The group just ignores the armored man staying on the bridge and crashes right through. Funk, the car gets through but takes some damage. <laughs> 